Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk looking like two pairs All I do is stay up all night Losing sleep over you, you Okay, you guys, so this is what we're going to be needing to make our Haitian egg piece. So, you guys, egg piece is pretty much like a Haitian sofrito. Um, it's like the base of so many Haitian dishes, like griot, the meats marinated in egg piece. The rice, you fry some egg piece with a little bit of oil before you add the beans when you're making the rice and beans. Like, it's a staple in Haitian cooking, okay? So, we're going to make some. So, right here, I have two bunches of parsley i have two bunches of cilantro i have some scallion green onion some pink himalayan salt you can of course use whatever salt you like i have some extra virgin olive oil some apple cider vinegar whole cloves scotch bonnet peppers i'm gonna actually cut these and take the seeds out and wash them i don't want my piece to be like super spicy so that's what i'm gonna do um, I have some lime juice, some whole garlic, some different bell peppers. I have two yellow ones, a green one, a red one, and an orange bell pepper. And I have a red onion. So pretty much a piece is like sofrito. How sofrito, like everybody has their own uh, version and rendition of sofrito. A piece is pretty much the same thing. Like um, people... Make it all different kinds of ways. Oh, I'm forgetting something. I need the Maggie. You got to have the Maggie. Hold on, y'all. You guys, I almost forgot the Maggie, the bouillon, the chicken bouillon. So I'm going to use two chicken Maggie cubes, and I'm going to use one of these um, Goya, the powdered chicken bouillon. Okay, so three in total. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wash up these veggies and get our mise en place together. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I have my veggies here all nice, clean, trimmed, and ready to go. Um, I cleaned one of the scotch bonnet peppers. You see, I took all the insides out, the seeds, the ribs, all that I took out. This garlic right here, that is a cup of garlic. And, yeah. The cloves down there, that is six cloves. But you'll see it when I put it all together. Smells so good. Let me go grab the blender. Okay, so we got the blender all nice and clean out. This is super um this is super easy. We're just gonna add the stuff in, right? So first I'm going to add in the two bunches of parsley. Stick that down in there. I put it to the side. Here's the cilantro. Stick that down in there. Super easy, y'all. the rest of the parsley and then we're gonna since this is like the roughage we're gonna get this started and then add the other stuff to it okay this is some more cilantro now to this we're going to add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil i already measured this out um i poured from my big bottle into the smaller one so this is a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil we're gonna go ahead and add that in Next, we're going to add in three tablespoons of lime juice. <gasps> All right. Next, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar. I use white vinegar all the time. All right. That looks perfect. So we're gonna post this and then add the rest of the stuff. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the um, garlic. Alright, we got the garlic in there. Next, I'm going to put in some of the bell peppers. Oh, 
Okay. Now let's blend this up. So now I'm gonna add in the red onion and the rest of the bell peppers. Get off the get Ashley's new spice cup. Right. Lid back on. Let's blend it. Super easy, y'all. We're just pretty much blending all the stuff up. Yes, y'all starting to look like Epi's, right? Tell me that don't look good. Okay, so now let's put the onions, the scallions. You know what? Let's put all this in there. Our clean scotch bonnet. All right, let's blend it. You guys, this is looking perfect. Look at that. Does that not look friggin' perfect? So now we just have to flavor it, okay? So I added six cloves of the, um, six uh, whole cloves already. Next, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt um, and the chicken bouillon cubes, okay? That is looking really good. Salt. So here is the packet of the chicken bouillon. Now here are the two chicken Maggie cubes. All right, now let's blend that up. So you guys, here is our egg piece. Look at the consistency. Isn't that perfect? So we're gonna make some chicken real quick. I mean, fresh egg piece, we might as well make some chicken, right? Look at that, perfect. All right, y'all, so I went and washed up some chicken legs, okay? I'm about to hit it with a little bit of my seasoning blend. Of course, you can just use some adobo, add some herbs to it, but this is my seasoning. You can, of course, always find the link in the description box below and get you one. It's really, really good. Okay. What's the paper? All right. I'm going to add some of our beautiful epis. All right, so that looks good. Gonna mix this up. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at my Epi's chicken. Oh my gosh, the only thing on here is my Epi's and a little bit of my spice blend. Okay, I'm about to roast this in the oven, uncovered at 375 until it's all nice and brown and crispy and juicy. But y'all, y'all could just look at this and know that this is gonna be so good. Okay, wow. All right, y'all, so while my chicken is cooking in the oven, I'm just packing the egg piece up in some plastic containers. I like to keep one in the fridge and the rest I just freeze. You can also like fill up some ice cubes and then take the ice out the, the tray and then put it in a Ziploc bag and store it that way in the freezer. Do whatever you wanna do, but these definitely freeze very well. So you guys, look at my egg piece chicken. Y'all, this looks so good. Do you see that? 
You see that? And it's so tender. You see that? And the sauce that it makes is so flavorful. Like, you can use this sauce to put over rice. You see that? Whoops. Put that over some rice. So good. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number.